Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn chapter 3 data handling of class 7 mathematics. We discussed about mean, mode and median. They are also known as the measures of central tendency. That is mean, mode and median are the numbers that are representative values of a group of observations or data. Now in this part we are going to learn about use of bar graphs with a different purpose. We have seen how information collected could be first arranged in a frequency distribution table and then this information could be put as a visual representation in in the form of pictographs or bar graphs. You can look at the bar graphs and make deductions about the data. You can also get information based on these bar graphs. As we know, the mode of a set of observations is the observation that occurs most often. So, we can say that the mode is the longest bar if the bar represents a frequency. Choosing a scale. We know that a bar graph is a representation of numbers using bars of uniform width and length of the bars depend upon the frequency and the scale you have chosen. For example, in a bar graph where numbers in units are to be shown, the graph represents one unit length for one observation and if it has to show numbers in tens or hundreds, one unit length can represent ten or hundred observations. Here is an example. 200 students of 6th and 7th classes were asked to name their favorite color so as to decide upon what should be the color of their school building. The results are shown in the following table. Represent the given data on a bar graph. Here is the table. Favorite color red. The number of students liked red is 43. Green color liked by 19 students. Blue color is liked by 50 students. And yellow color liked by 49 students. Orange by 34 students. The questions are which is the most preferred color and which is the least preferred. Question number 2. How many colors are there in all? What are they? Here we take one unit for 10 students. From the bar graph we conclude that blue is the most preferred color because the bar representing blue is the tallest. Second, green is the least preferred color because the bar representing green is the shortest. Third is there are five colors. There are five colors. They are red, green, blue, yellow and orange. These are observed on the horizontal line. Consider the following two collections of data giving the average daily hours of sunshine in two cities. Aberdeen and Margate for all the 12 months of the year. These cities are near the South Pole and hence have only a few hours of sunshine each day. By drawing individual bar graphs, you could answer questions like in which month does each city has maximum sunlight or in which month does each city has minimum sunlight. However, to answer questions like in a particular month which city has more sunshine hours, we need to compare the average hours of sunshine on both the cities. To do this, we will learn to draw what is called a double bar graph giving the information of both cities side by side. For each month, we have two bars, the heights of which give the average hours of sunshine in each city. From this, we can infer that except for the month of April, there is always more sunshine in Margate than in Aberdeen. Here, one unit is equal to one hour of sunshine. In exercise 3.3, third question is, the number of children in six different classes are given below. Represent the data on a bar graph. In class 5th, 
there are 135 students in 6th class 120 students in 7th class there are 95 students in 8th class 100 students and in 9th 90 students in 10th standard there are 80 students in this bar graph we take one unit as 50 students one unit is equal to 50 students answer the following questions which class has the maximum number of children and the minimum the maximum number of children are in class 5th that is 135 the minimum number of students are in class 10 80 students in question number 4 the performance of a student in first term and second term is given draw a double bar graph choosing appropriate scale and answer the following here is the table and the questions are in which subject has the child improved his performance the most in which subject is the improvement the least has the performance gone down in any subject the first question is in which subject has the child improved his performance the most the answer is in maths the child improved his performance the most the second question is in which subject is the improvement the least the answer is in social science the improvement is least third question has the performance gone down in any subject the answer is in Hindi the performance has gone down this is the end of part 3 of data handling chapter 3 mathematics class 7 if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you